Hi, welcome to machine learning app on Android using MLKit. I'm your author, Yusuf Saber. A little bit about me before we get started. I've worked over the past five years as a professional Android engineer, and I've worked at many startups as well as mid-sized and large companies. Currently, I work for a company called Vocera Communications as a senior Android applications engineer. The apps that I've worked on have been downloaded over 50 million times and growing in total. And I currently hold a master's degree in software engineering from Ryerson University in Toronto, Canada. Now for the course overview. What we'll learn in this course is, of course, how to use MLKit on Android. We'll start with that in section one with what is MLKit. From there, we'll look at setting up the app so that we can start adding our MLKit modules. In section three, we'll look at the first module, text recognition. From there, we'll move to section four, face detection. After that, we'll look at section five, barcode scanning, where we'll look at scanning different types of barcodes, including the regular one and QR codes. In section six, we'll look at image labeling and we'll look at the local model as well as the cloud-based model. And finally, in section 7, we'll look at landmark recognition. So we can try to pick up things like the Eiffel Tower, the CN Tower, Niagara Falls, the pyramids in Egypt, and all sorts of other landmarks. Some of the prerequisites for this course. This is, of course, an Android course. And, of course, we're not using Eclipse anymore. So you do need some experience with Android Studio. And, of course, you should know your way around Android development. And you don't need any prior knowledge of machine learning. If you do know a little bit or a lot about machine learning, that's great. It'll definitely help you with the course, but you don't need to know the ins and outs of machine learning in order to use MLKit. Now, some things to get excited about when working with MLKit. The first thing is that MLKit is very easy to set up, as you'll see in the beginning videos of this course. The second thing is that MLKit is very powerful. If you try to do some of the things that MLKit does without using the MLKit library, you would be writing code for years. And finally, MLKit is improving every day. So the five models that we talked about in the what we'll learn in this course section. So the five models that we're going to talk about in this course are just the beginning. The MLKit team is already working on smart text, which is a text completion module. And after that, month by month, year by year, they'll be releasing more and more models for us to work with in MLKit.